Hi, this is Edison Abelard, and in this video, we're going to discuss adding sound to our prefab. Now, if you remember from our last video, we created our prefab, added our clouds, and then hit apply. Now, we're going to do pretty much the same thing, except for now, we're going to actually use a second prefab just to show you that you can add this or make any modifications to any prefab and update the others as well. So, grab this, we're going to component, we're going to add our audio source component uh, and over here we have the audio clip we're just gonna grab in our sounds folder drop the audio in there and just hit play put that up a little bit Now what we don't want is is for this to play on awake and that's the reason why once we begin it plays. But just for these, you know, the purposes of testing it, we'll allow it to play. Now if you want you can also change the volume in here. I'm just gonna keep putting up the volume on my system. And if you want you can adjust the volume here. So as you can see, it's getting lower and lower. Now, I definitely would not recommend that. Uh, if you're going, to, if you're going to do any audio editing, I would definitely recommend using some kind of audio software, just so you have a lot more control if you need to fade things in and out or um, cut an audio. All right, so now we're just going to deselect that. Now, remember, we have our script attached our game script so let's open this up so now because we have the audio component attached all we really have to do is type in audio dot play let me see come over and I collect the item Hmm. Let's see what the audio component, audio source. All right, that was what our problem was. We didn't apply the prefab to the other one, so this one knows that. Um, it's script which is what they share they both share this script but because only one of them has the audio attached that, that gives us an error which is fine what you notice is when we did collect a gem we actually did not yield any results so what we're going to do is this segue <laughs> yield wait four seconds definitely don't recommend doing this but for the purposes of this video I will show you. We're going to hit play now. Bypass that one. Hmm. Wrong way. <laughs> we want to yield before the object gets destroyed, not before playing. And what this is going to do is just allow us to hear the sound before the object gets destroyed. There you go. So now what we're going to do is grab our gem with the audio. You can see the, the icon here. Hit apply. And now if we collect the first one. So now we have both of them. Now, once again, all we did was is yield for two seconds before. And what Unity does is, is uh, which I wish Flash had this feature. And it's that this line of code does not get executed for two seconds. In this case, we're waiting for two seconds. 
So what we're in, you know, really doing is is pausing before this object actually gets destroyed. So definitely don't recommend this, but I wanted to make sure that you saw what happens when you do have an audio clip. It's a little too long. Now, as we go over more and more game design principles and um, and techniques, testing and testing and testing. You, know, you can never have too much testing. Um, and that's really what the benefit of you know having such a, an easy uh, engine to play around with gives you and the stability to, to just jump in and test. Later on, we'll update the graphics in this and uh, and really spice this game up. And and in those videos, I'll show you how you can easily swap out some of this object or some of these objects, and then add in your new ones. And this is a process which I would definitely recommend if possible to start developing and see those little indifferences like the sound is too long and maybe we should cut it or maybe we should make it uh, pinch a little higher but that's adding sound to our game one more thing I'm gonna run away from the sound after I collect it you'll hear that the sound is 3d sound so as I get closer and further away the sound also changes and that's something else that we'll go over in later videos. It's Edis and Abelard. And that's it for our video on adding audio. In our next video, we're going to talk about adding a GUI so we can see how many items we've actually collected. Edis and Abelard, I'm out.